It's Tuesday, August 27th, 2013, and this is your Monitor Minute. I'm Web Editor Kevin Dean, and these are some of today's top stories. First up, it's that time of year again. The school year kicked off yesterday for Hopkinton, Canterbury, and more. And plenty more are following suit today, including Concord, Merrimack Valley, and Franklin, just to name a few. Be sure to check back with the Monitor all this week to see how the first day of school has gone in your neck of the woods. Second, the former Rolf and Rumford Home for Girls is up and running again, except his residents are a bit older. It's now a home for Christian scientists run by Carrie Reed of Bow. It currently has three residents, women between their late 70s and late 90s, but the house will have another wing opening this fall with space for nine people. And finally, more than 400 Concord residents have signed a petition against a city plan to acquire an armored Bearcat vehicle with nearly $260,000 in federal grant funds, according to activists who protested outside City Hall yesterday. The City Council vote has been delayed until September 9th. You can read more about these stories in today's Monitor, or you can visit us online at ConcordMonitor.com.